Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. Listen, I look, I don't know what the hell I look like today, but I am feeling myself, honey. And yes, bitch, I might be bloated because I just had a pound of cheese on some homemade nachos, but bitch, I am feeling myself, honey. I probably won't bottom tonight, but uh, girl, I look good. <sighs> don't understand why I do these things. I don't. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to edit that shit out. <laughs> Sebastian, edit it. Edit that shit out. No one needs to see this side of you. Okay, just let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. All right, well, you know, let's just, you know, let's just get back into it, bitch. And I am telling you, I'm not going you're the best man I ever know. Oh, okay, here we go. All right. Anyways, Sebastian, start from here. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sebastian. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer TV, pop culture, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Listen, I probably won't edit that shit out. So you can already guess it. I'm your new messy best friend. Okay, bitch? Listen, we need to talk because Brittany just posted a very inspirational quote, and I just thought it was very interesting. It was with the face of a care of carrot juice. Now, listen, I don't know. Do you guys remember the movie Pussycat? No, not Pussycat, bitch. Um, Josie and the Pussycat Dolls. When it was like the mind, like you know, they would like put things in music and then mind control you to buy certain things, like a Starbucks or wear the color yellow. After seeing this post, bitch, I need to get some carrot juice, okay? So anyways, it's literally a carrot juice, bitch. Like, literally. Um, what, what is it called? Okay, so here it is. Um, it's from Bolt House. Girl, they're gonna, they're gonna sell a lot of a carrot juice, let me tell you. So she posted this picture, right? And it's like, okay, bitch. Like, I didn't even see there was a caption underneath, right? So I was like, okay, you know what? what? She likes carrot juices, so do I, you know what? No, bitch, there is a whole freaking story, okay? So this is what it says. And the reason that I wanted to do this video with you is because um, everyone is so quick to judge Britney. Everyone is so quick to say, oh, she's so crazy. Oh, she needs to do this. Oh, she's that. Oh, that. But what they don't understand is that Britney Spears, if you really think about it, she's had to hold her thoughts in for 13 years. And I know that it sounds very dramatic, but it's the truth. I Listen, I don't hate anybody who comes on my channel and leaves comments, but I get... Quite a few comments saying that, you know, I'm blinded by my fandom and I'm blinded by this. No, I will definitely like in the post of the of, of the uh, standing next to fat people makes you look skinny thing. I, I didn't like that post and I said it. I don't celebrate everything Britney says, but I understand that there's a lot of debt to her. You know what I mean? In 13 years of staying in silence about your situation and not being able to share with anybody, you... The only way you, the only place you can escape is your imagination. So Brittany has a lot of pent up things she wants to express. So anyways, this is what she said. Ooh, girl, those homemade nachos were made. Let me know if you want the recipe. Okay, and yes, bitch, I still have not taken my nail polish off. I've been to Maui so many times. I swear it never gets old here. I find my inner goddess. I sweat, cry, run, swim and play. Mother Nature speaks to me in a different way. I feel like I'm guided to where my heart flies. Life can be so crazy. So in times like this, I reel it in to find my grounds and pray. Sitting still and listening to my voice, meaning of self-love. This is so important, you guys. I don't, I, listen, again, I understand that some of you may think this is like dramatic, but it's, this is so important for Brittany to be expressing, to be able to feel self-love, to be able to feel um, you know, to be able to be free, to go, to travel, to jump in the water, to, you know what I mean? Like, un like be born again. This is literally like her rebirth. Um, I guess it's different for all of us. I'm also into carrot juice. Um, at the moment, and I've been fasting every day. Oh, bitch, that's what I said I had to do. <gasps> that's it, I'm fasting too. Look how easily manipulated I am, bitch. Um, okay. 
Um, it's a cleanse, so I've been feeling a bit more clear. I notice that I can breathe better when I'm fasting, and there seems to be a better sense of knowing. I'm blessed for each day I have here. I appreciate the trees, the sea, and the overall simple way of life here. How people pass a simple smile to each other. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. God bless. PSSS at Drew Barrymore. Thank you for bringing light to my wedding. Yes, there were so there was so much light in the room. We have both been through so much and you declaring and you declaring my cry for freedom in a country where we are all equal is not only in verb with humanity. It calls for every person who fought for me in a time where just a silly and childish free Britney shirt actually had more meaning to me than just that. You reminded me of the night of my wedding to just one and one thing only, a smile with my eyes closed. Last PSSS. It's so nice to sometimes play the angel, right ladies? When you know you're the, you're the fucking devil. Carry on, and here's to carrot juice. Bitch, I need to get me some carrot juice. I, I'm so, okay. I, I need some carrot juice, bitch. And I, I need that bolt house one, okay? And as soon as I get I'm going to do a video with the bolt house, okay? So if you want to, listen, if you want to send me some, uh, just press on the thanks button. You can send a tip. And I'm going to buy a bunch of fucking carrot juice. And I'll do a fucking carrot juice mukbang here. And I'll talk about all how much I appreciate the damn sea and the wind and the fucking ocean. No, but for real, though. Let's get serious. Girl, I don't know why I'm feeling it tonight, honey. I'm a messier than ever, bitch. Uh, but for real, I really do absolutely love, love, love to see Britney Spears happy. I mean, when she's over there in Maui, I feel like she's the happiest. I kind of wish that she would just move there. You know what I mean? Like, just freaking move there. Get a, get a house with a private beach and just move there. And if Sam needs to come out to work, well, then he can just fly in and out, right? Um, but I understand her children are here and stuff. But I mean, when I guess when they turn 18... She can figure out what to do next. But anyways, I, I, the reason I, I chose this video is because, be, because of the comments Britney Spears has made lately and, and her Instagram and stuff, I'm often finding myself uh, defending her. And I'm often finding myself um, trying to convince people of things. And then I realized that, you know what? I don't have to convince people. I don't have to defend people because Britney Spears is not doing anything to be defended, if you know what that means. Like Britney Spears is just being herself. And if that being yourself and being authentically you scares people, then honey, we are in a really messed up time when all we are thinking about is the aesthetic of things. Like for example, look, these lights. Yeah, I bought them at Marshall's. They were like $10 each, right? But they add an aesthetic for me and my taste that I love, right? But you know what? I could easily just perform or, you know, perform, but you know, be in front of a damn uh, white wall and it is what it is, you know? Aesthetic is not everything. Picture perfectness is not everything. And Britney Spears adds authenticity. Authenticity. When in a world of Kardashians, why be a Kardashian when you can be a Britney, right? Because we are so used to everyone just sharing their perfect life. And we're just, everyone is so picture perfect. And everyone is, and, in, and then they try and, and fake being relatable, which that is so annoying, right? And Britney is literally just being herself. And that is what scares people. That is what makes people uncomfortable. When you are true and when you are in touch with your feelings and you are not afraid to put it out there, right? Because after 13 years of being silenced, obviously you want to put it out there. You want to, you want to be, you want to be in touch with your feelings and you want to share your feelings because you were not allowed to share your feelings for such a long time. You know, when you were sitting in interviews being asked what your favorite junk food is on tour, you don't want to talk about that. You probably wanted to talk about how you don't have the right to a cell phone, how you don't have the right to go out to the fucking corner CVS and buy a damn Tylenol bottle. That's what you probably wanted to talk about, Ryan Seacrest, Mario Lopez. You know, that's what they probably want, Brittany wanted to talk about, but she had to talk about how she wanted sushi and watch Sex in the City when she was on the road, right? So after 13 years of being silent, silenced, 
She has all the right to speak, honey. And you know what? If the bitch wants to spend 5,000 times and fucking, you know, be a fucking twister in her living room, drink carrot juice, and say y'all, y'all, y'all 5,000 times, well, bitch, we're going to stand in the sidelines and cheer her on like it was a damn Super Bowl, okay? Oh, baby, over time. Oops, I did it again. Britney in the zone. My prerogative greatest hits. Blackout, Circus, Femme Fatale, Britney Jean, and Glory. I gotta go, bitch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Make sure you are subscribed and turn on the notifications. And I hope you are... no Girl, you see, I fucked that shit up. Damn it. I hope you know you're loved. That's what I wanted to say. But, like, my words is like... I gotta go, bitch. Sebastian, please buy nail polish. Oh, my God. So, you know what? I'm done. Goodbye.